Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, we talk about how terrible that clip from the Twisted Metal Peacock show is. Did longtime fans of the video game like it? We'll find out. Plus, we talk about Secret Invasion, Netflix subscriptions in the US, and more on today's Fix. Let's drop it. Right now at Jeff Keighley Summer Game Fest, we got a new clip from the upcoming Peacock series, Twisted Metal, and it's a heaping load of trash that the majority of the internet isn't too happy with. You heard me correctly. I called it a heaping pile of trash so that you're well aware of the direction the rest of this news story is gonna go. Now in the clip, we see Anthony Mackie's John Doe going up against Sweet Tooth, AKA Needles Kane, in a casino. Now the two aren't going head to head in a way you'd expect two opponents to do so in a Twisted Metal related series, which would be within gun laden vehicles built for destruction. Now instead, they're using hand to hand combat with the thong song playing in the background. Yeah, that's right, the Cisco song. Now the two bond over the lyrics and the clip ends. Now the question a lot of folks online immediately had is, where were the cars? Where was the ice cream truck? And what's up with the hokey, cringy comedy angle they're seemingly taking with this show? Now, with this being an extended look at the upcoming series, you'd think they'd want to, you know, showcase something to get fans of the video game franchise excited for what's to come. And the best way to do so is to show us something that's reminiscent of the video game, like cars shooting each other. Now we might not have seen anything along those lines because maybe they're still working on the effects so that when vehicle combat is shown, we're impressed. But outside of that, the tone of the show is cause for concern as well. Now when you think of the Twisted Metal series, it typically has a gritty tone, focusing more on dark humor than what was displayed in the Peacock series clip. Now, I don't think the direction they've decided to go with the streaming series is what longtime fans of the game were hoping to see. But in general, did anyone even ask for a live action series of Twisted Metal? No. Now, if anything, Sony should have been working on a reboot of the series and bringing the Demolition Derby back for the PS5. Now, I don't know if this is maybe you know their way of kind of just testing the waters to see if there's still interest in this franchise, but given what we've seen so far, well, this doesn't look like it'll have those diehard fans of the Twisted Metal series rallying around it or convince newcomers to the series the games are worth checking out. And Will Arnett voices Sweet Tooth with Samoa Joe playing him on screen, which means Samoa Joe is just miming his performance. Now this can be done well, like for example, Darth Vader was physically played by Dave Prowse, but voiced by James Earl Jones. Now from what we're shown, Will Arnett's performance seems completely detached from the action. Kind of like, you know, bad enemy dialogue in a video game. Now I think we all can do without the Twisted Metal series, but we can still give it a shot and see if there's any good to be mimed from that come July. Like, I mean, it can't be any worse than Velma, right? Whew, we'll see. Now in other news, you'd think that Netflix's password sharing crackdown would lead to people leaving the platform in mass. But apparently in the US, this has led to Netflix's highest level of new subscribers in the last four years. Now this is according to the latest antenna data, which says the streaming services average daily signups have increased by 102% from its previous 60 day average. So that means instead of canceling all together, some folks have been signing up for separate accounts and branching away from the shared one they previously had. Now if you wanted to maintain another member on your account, however, you'd have to pay an additional $7.99. Now Netflix still plans on blocking devices that aren't part of the primary household and when that does in fact happen to individuals, it'll be a real litmus test of whether or not this was a smart move. Now it's still in the early stages of implementation so only time will tell if this is just a temporary win for the streaming service or not. Now how many of you plan on keeping your subscription with this in mind? Comment down below and let's discuss. Now, we got a new clip from Marvel's upcoming Secret Invasion Disney Plus series, but in order to watch it, you apparently need a code to access it. Now, Marvel Studios has invaded Twitter to post secret clues to get fans to go check out the teaser website and unlock an encrypted file. Now, for those of you not interested in all that ARG bull crap, the clip features Martin Freeman's Everett Ross in a safe room with another agent. And then we're reminded of the chaos that lay ahead told to trust no one and given a release date of June 21st. Now, really asking a lot from fans to see so little, but you know, if you're really excited for this show coming to Disney Plus, well, you might get some enjoyment out of it in the journey. 
And finally, in a new docu-series on Netflix, we find out that Arnold Schwarzenegger originally wanted to say, I will be back, as opposed to the now iconic line, I'll be back in the Terminator movie. Now in the doc entitled Arnold, director James Cameron kind of had to put the muscular actor in his place because Arnold thought the less conversational syntax would be more robotic. And according to Arnold, total recalling what the director had to say, quote, are you the writer? And I said, no. And he said, well, don't tell me how to write. Wow. Be sure to bleep that out. Anyways, wow. Uh, to be quite honest, it, whether it was I will be back or I'll be back, it still would have been just as iconic. What cemented it was Arnold's delivery, tone of voice, and his accent. And on that note, it's time to say hasta la vista, baby. That was your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you so much for watching. Now that you're covered on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.